Hello there, welcome to AWS Fake Guide session. Today I will show you how to pull artifact from Nexus repository to Jenkins and then deploy your artifact or war or year into Tomcat container. I am logged into my Google Cloud platform, but again, to use the virtual machine you can use any cloud platforms like google cloud platform or aws or microsoft azure i have my jenkins and nexus both the virtual machine up and running as you see that my jenkins i'm logged in into and my nexus is also running if you have seen my earlier tutorials on how to integrate nexus with Jenkins, then you have seen that how we pushed the artifact from Jenkins to Nexus. And here is our artifact stored in Nexus. That is Maven snapshot. It is our artifact dot work file. And here is all the details of the artifact. Now I'm not going too much detail into how we pushed that. If you want to know how to integrate Nexus with Jenkins and from Jenkins job, how to push your artifact or store your artifact in Nexus, please check the tutorial link in the video description. In this tutorial, I will show you how to pull this particular artifact from Nexus and then deploy to our Tomcat container. So let's go back to our Jenkins portal. Here I am on my Jenkins dashboard. So let's create one new item that is our new job. So I'm just giving a name pull artifact and deploy. Select as freestyle project. Click OK. Give the same thing as description. We are not selecting anything over here because we will be pulling our artifact from Nexus. So click on add build step and click execute cell. The reason is we will be running one shell script over here that will pull our artifact from Nexus and download it inside Jenkins. So let's see how is the command first. As usual, I have kept that command ready in my GitHub repository. If you want to know the link of this script, please check in the description box below. Otherwise, my GitHub repository link is github.com slash AWS tech guide slash script script is the repository inside that you will get all kind of script. Now to pull artifact from Nexus to Jenkins and deploy to Tomcat in Jenkins build job write below shell script to pull artifact. The command is like this. You have to do a wget by passing the username and password and you have to mention this URL. Now first thing I'm just copying this wget username and password going back to my Jenkins job, writing it over here. And what will be the URL in your case? Go to Nexus repository. So after logging into Nexus repository, click on browse and you will find this assets and components list. If you have pushed into Maven snapshot as I pushed in my earlier tutorial, I'm going inside Maven snapshot and expanding this. And here is my war file. On the right hand side, check the path. It is the hyperlink. Right click on this, copy link address. Just copy this link address and paste it over here. So it will wget or basically download this war file into your Jenkins. Now on the next line, 
give enter in the next line i want to rename this word file because it is a big word file name so as you see this is the big word file name and i just want to make it shorter so mv word file name suppose dev ops dot word that's it okay and now our next step will be add one post build action over here but before adding the post build action to deploy this devops dot word into my tomcat server i want to save this job and run it once to check whether it is able to connect to my nexus repository and able to pull the word file into jenkins or not so i'm just saving it click on build now build has started click on the build number console output perfect as it is showing that it has successfully completed and finished success so let's go to the job workspace click on the workspace and here is our devops dot word it has been downloaded successfully and you see that the size is 20.53 mb so it is the file now let's go back to our job configuration once again go to post build action now you know that how to configure a post build action to push your deployable into tomcat container i am selecting deploy word or year to a container if you want to know that how come this option has come or how to deploy to tomcat container please check the link in the video description of my earlier video and you will find that now word or year files it is the location we have to mention where is this file now by default when we did this wget it downloaded the devops.wor file and stored under workspace and workspace is the default directory jenkins start finding from so we have our devops.wor into our root directory basically so just give the name devops.wor but if sometime when you are deploying your word file to tomcat maybe your tomcat is stored under target then devops.wor but in this case it is directly under workspace folder so you do not need to provide any path separately now context path is the name of your word or year file containers add containers my tomcat is tomcat 8.5 so i am selecting 8.x remote and you know that i have my tomcat credential already configured and tomcat url i have to check so i am going to my google cloud platform and just copying this tomcat url from here and for your information my tomcat is up and running so i am basically just copying this whole url and pasting it over here and my configuration is done i am saving it now click on build now it has started the build let's open console output and it is showing build is success deploying this poor file so so now let's go to our tomcat here is our tomcat up and running let's give the context path devops slash i have my gate mapping already mapped into that spring web application that's why i am adding home and click enter perfect as you see the application was successfully deployed 
and my application is running. It is the first phase of the application where it shows that click here for our online tutorials. So if I click on that, you will see all the tutorials in my AWS join our DevOps. Now I'm going back to the job configuration just to revisit once again. In this job, we didn't build anything because we already built and stored our artifact into Nexus. We just pulled our build from Nexus repository and then deployed that work file to Tomcat container. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any query or question, please write in the comment box below. I'll be happy to help you. See you in my next session. Thank you.